Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Super Scribble Knots. Once again, this is Garzy's Legend here to present you with part 3. Without further ado, let's get started. This is a nice, easy, similar box level. Got your, you know, got your snail and your turtle there. Or tortoise, depending on your preference. Not really specific. This one I find easier than the first one, simply because you can identify two very easy characteristics that they share, both being slow and having a shell. So, I'm going to use slow as an adjective. Maybe shell could be an adjective too, but let's give it a slow, and it'll be an oyster. And we got a slow oyster there, and we got our start right. Really simple stuff. Level two here. We've got our parachute here. Who wants to safely get down? Maxwell already has his parachute, but this guy does not. So have some fun with the adjectives. We'll get on a sad and microscopic. And then a microscopic parachute. And just move my all the way. Hmm. And even has a sad face, but even though you can't see it at all, it, it's still there and it works. Mission 2 accomplished. Fortunately, everything is running smoothly, so... Getting through these things rather quickly. Could probably get through all of uh, Second Constellation with um, this, this uh, video, but we'll see. King of the Jungle needs to rest. Alright, so, get our, uh, get our wings here. Supply plastic staple on this, so really unnecessary, but you know what? I do what I want. Need, need something anyway to get up to the lion. This is just my preference. And the other thing, well, let's um, make it huge. Yeah, huge. Tranquilizer again. Has to be a tranquilizer gun. Just tranquilizer will. Oh wow, that's bigger than I expected. Um, just regular tranquilizer will actually make your job a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Lord him down there, shoot him, and now he's sleepy. And the star is right on top of Maxwell, and it does. And he drops the lion sized gun. Star is found. Language lion, merit, whatever that is. Alright, let's see. Four here. This is another fun one. Now you're crossing four different things, though so it's maybe more like two pairs of things. Use another adjective based level. Let's see. How do we make it not really an animal or a building, but very us? And it'll be a poster. And let's see if this works. Nope. Alright, so, what we'll to do? Could be using the adjective dictionary, but, you know. Spittable. Spittable cat. Yeah, so. It does have to be a matching noun, but using an 
adjective to make it like whatever you're not using as a base. Either building like adjective for net for animal noun or animalistic adjective for your building noun. Level start. Okay. Mm. Help Maxwell the magician make the lion disappear. See, first off, just make those two switches go. Now we need something to lure the lion away. Let's see. Let's give him a delicious ham. Everybody loves ham. may have taken a while, but the audience is still sold. So, Magician Maxwell lives another day to excite his audience through magic notebook trickery. I guess he could be a magician then. Optional, uh, costume optional, but I think it, it suits him. Level 6. Or stage 6. Whatever, you know what I mean. Place food with Maxwell. That use the ingredients. Green or else. I see. This one obviously has a lot of variety to it. You can come up with numerous things that use multiple of those ingredients. I'm sure adjectives could make them even easier if I have a cheesy steak or something. Seven rather than eight. Yeah, make it make it even easier to come up with each. But that'll that'll come in the later iteration. What does he want to be when he grows up? Zombie there, we got our mouse trap inch piranha plant thing. Carnivorous. Let's see, what do we want to make carnivorous? Carnivorous.
uh, so I think without this video being too long. Oh my. What's your adjective or change? with this at 11 minutes that will be it i will see you guys next time